All right, last time I built this platform that I'm walking on here and it was louder than I liked. I made a new quieter platform shown here that I'm gonna go over in this video. I've also built part of the octagon that will grip the edge of the platform and spin around it. I built enough to show you all how it works. All of that is coming up in this video. If you have no idea what's going on, I'm making VR shoes that allow you to walk in VR while staying in place. I go into the details about how my builds work, what succeeds and what fails. Right now I'm working on making a safety rig that doesn't require bolting to the ceiling or the wall. First I'm going to show you how much noise my latest platform makes. I have a microphone attached to the top of the chair next to me, like in the previous videos. Last video, I said I thought that if I maximized the surface area of the platform in contact with the ground, it would be quieter. So I redesigned the platform to do just that while keeping the plywood suspended off the ground slightly for reasons I'll go into later. It's still louder than I'd like for walking backwards and running. But I'm happy with it since I'm walking forward 90% of the time. With headphones in, I can barely hear my footsteps. It's really simple. I already had carpet on the top, which helps reduce the noise. The carpet is stapled to a 3 4 inch thick piece of plywood. The underside and the edges of the plywood also have carpet. Underneath, I have polystyrene. It's in a big disc to maximize the contact with the ground. Then I have these carpet tiles that the platform sits on. You can see that the rim slash edge of the plywood is sitting in midair, unobstructed. This is so that I can make a sort of ring that grips the rim and rotates around it. This is the ring, or rather octagon, that rotates around the edge of the platform. It's mostly a combination of pipe fittings and conduit. The conduit is cheaper than longer pipes, so that's why I used it. The conduit is coupled to the pipe fittings via these short pieces of pipe with a bolt going through both of them and a 3D printed spacer. This part is the roller that grips the edge of the platform and rolls around it. It has these small rollers in the middle that roll directly along the edge of the platform. Additionally, it has this U-bolt that loops around the edge. The U-bolt has these 3D printed rollers that spin. So the whole thing just fits around the edge of the platform. You may be curious about how loud it is. Here you go, both me spinning it slowly and fast. The microphone is up here attached to my current safety rig. What do you all think? I find the noise acceptable, but maybe it can be improved in the future. You may be curious about these big wheels, they're for later. I am thinking that when I introduce motors back into the VR shoes, the platform may not be necessary anymore. In that case, this rig will just rotate around on the wheels instead of gripping the edge of a platform. So that's where I'm at. I need to make the rest of the octagon. It will have up to eight of those rollers that will slide along the edge, but I'm thinking I'll only need four. Once the octagon is done, I'll make the rest of the rig. That's it for this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. See you next time.